Let's take a look at this. Boom. Talk to you a bit about the new format this year, what has changed yep. last year compared to this year. So now that you have three opponents every week, so it's essentially kind of always a super week, and then having the whole double elimination system, having gone through the whole format now once, how does the whole format feel to you? Like first thought is I, I like the format just because it's different and there's best of three, there's best of five, which is just like better uh, in general. I think the format is great for viewers. I think it's really, really good for viewers. I think it's great for getting lots of games. Generally just the change is good and I think this like double elimination, it makes a lot of sense. So I'm happy about that. I think the middling teams are getting way more games, which is really, really good for when you look at kind of leveling up players, leveling up the region. The downside is that it's it's really hard. <laughs> I mean, I personally like the whole best of three into best of five type of thing. I'm not a huge fan of the regular season nowadays. So in terms of preparation, I would say that it's, it, it, it is a lot more intense. Because every week is now a super week. I don't know if I would call this stressful, but the format is like hectic. A lot of games all the time and not much time to rest. Last year felt a lot more like a marathon. This year feels like a sprint and then another sprint and then another sprint. I think the most exhausting thing would be mostly that it's like three days in a row that one day can make a difference, right, one extra day. So yeah, I wouldn't say preparation really matters that much. It's not like it's harder or, or anything. I would say it's just the three days in a row you need to keep focus, even if you have a rough start. Usually it's only the beginning, you know. It doesn't matter if you're a big team or a small team. If you start losing, no one cares. Uh, it's a beginning, it's fine, they're gonna be back. There's no more beginning. We've played two games. By tomorrow, we play a third of the best of one phase. It means that we have to make our prep I would say more concise, so I guess our focus is more kind of on ourselves. Okay, what's our read on the patch? What are our best? Come for champions. You can't like prepare for your opponents, you know, you just have to be, make sure you're in good shape. For sure it's fast paced, but you still have chances to prove yourself multiple, like in best of ones, in best of threes, best of ones, best of threes. So I would say it's, it's actually pretty nice. It, it feels very like um, dynamic, you know. And teams have already switched players Kranians, and coaching all staff and nice. stuff like that. So it's much more intense. I love it. Very Losing cool. one day of scrims a week makes scrims feel really fast. Because the schedule is so intense and so fast and so, and so compact. Feels like the weeks are like very short right now because you spend almost half of it on the studio here playing best of ones. You don't have time to fuck around. The old scrim system was five games in a row through the whole afternoon. The new format system, which we call 3-1-3, uh, where you play three to four game into one hour break into three to four game, which is directly inspired from the Asian system um, because that's how Korea and China are practicing. It maximizes efficiency. It gives, if, you, if you have a couple of games that aren't good in the first block. In my you experience, you didn't, uh, we didn't scrim like this. That more efficient. It basically adds an extra two we hours on three, the day, right? So that's two hours left. We scrim three, 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 three. I don't know, go to the gym or uh, watch vlogs or like have one-on-one -on -one conversations with players or do whatever extra kind of quality of life stuff that you're going to do as a team, even less for like, you know, team building and things like this. And with a break in the middle, it allows you to reset. So if you had a really, fat, really bad first block, then you can chill a bit and have a really good second block. Even allows you to add a potential third block, uh, which is really good when you're under the pressure of an international playoff, for example. Yeah, I think the format does better prepare teams to perform at Worlds, MSI, inter like the international events. Since you play more best of series than more than best of one, like for sure it will help, yeah. Also a lot because the BO1s you play now are super important. So, you know, you're learning basically for, for Worlds. Understanding like how you play in those circumstances under what kind of pressure and everything I think is incredibly valuable. And, and your ability to go back backstage and think, project yourself onto the next game uh, is what we need to train more and more and more. I wouldn't say so. I don't think the format necessarily will change that. From my experience at least, after being towards last year when I got to face Eastern teams and the way they scream, most of the times it's way different than the European screams. I would say if we step up our screams when we get to face them, we will have better results on the stage. I think it is more likely to have teams be better at understanding how to draft in BO3s or how to draft in BO5s, how to adapt throughout a BO5. It forces bad teams to fix some mistakes and it forces good teams to stay focused and squeeze everything. So the moment we're going to step on the international stage, we're going to be ready. I think the only caveat is that is everyone going to be burnt out by the end of the year at Worlds? Normally people are burnt out by the end of the year at Worlds anyway. That makes me a bit worried that a lot of European players are going to be very, very burnt out by the end of the year. And that's, that's the big caveat for this format, because outside of that, I think everything's really positive. 
Um, so for, for best of threes, uh, for best of fives, there's obviously, you know, there's a lot of draft adaptation. You, you need to be able to see kind of who's performing well on the day, who's like having an off day for both, try and see it for both teams, right? Teams uh, can take like a week to prepare specifically for the teams that are playing and you can like reassess your priors and for sure it gives you like a bit more leeway to, to test things. When you go to best of fives, so you can actually really try spice up uh, some things and try out stuff. I mean, the prep is just generally speaking deeper and generally speaking it's more balanced for a, a longer series. It's definitely more like mentally taxing, like for sure. It is challenging but it's also kind of exhilarating to, to be in it, yeah. I think now every game actually matters, like people used to say in V1 before like 18 games every game matters, that wasn't true, you know. Like I can tell from my experience there was so many countless days, I can't count on my, name, on my fingers, where I went to stage and I was like, what the f am I doing here today? You know, it's like week six or something, and it's like so useless, and I, I'm like so CBA, and I don't even know what I'm picking today, you know, and I would just go on stage and I like, just play. I, I think compared to <laughs> before, loss matter more because you have less game, of course. I think at the same time, loss matter less, because if you can be top eight, then you get into the best of three phase, and it doesn't matter. And that's the beauty of it, like top eight, you just, you can still make it after a bad start, we showed that. After faltering in game one, Astralis would not be felled. They'll clean BDS up one more time to do it, as Astralis advance. If we can learn something from winter is the ranking at the end of best of one doesn't matter at all. What matters is how much your team will be affected mentally by those losses. And, and I think teams like Astralis, like SK, like BDS, which are really try hard and they don't, they don't really care about, about losing, you know, they're like, okay, we're learning, let's go again. I think they're going to be really, really scary. They learned a lot in winter and the fight for the last MSI ticket is going to be an absolute banger. Okay. Yeah, I didn't really hear anything new, right? It's like we've, we've beaten this topic uh, to death. I, I love the format, at least as a viewer. I think that level of intensity sounds like a lot of fucking fun. So um, I'm kind of excited to come back into competing as well. That would be good. Did you hear that the LCS is going to do the LEC format next year? Well, they better. They fucking better, guys. They better.